Crossfire X, guys, is going to be coming out on Xbox, and I'm really excited about this because this is one of PC's biggest games, and it is really interesting because I never actually even heard of it until Crossfire X was revealed to us and to the whole world, and that's something that's really interesting to me because it's more so popular, not so much in the U.S., and that's probably why I haven't really heard of it. Over here, obviously, we have Call of Duty, and now, you know, with CSGO, Valorant, and all these other titles that are coming out. Crossfire X, this seems like a title that's going to be something really special. And so what I want to talk about, guys, is this title as a whole, you know, the things that we know so far, what can we expect, you know, moving forward with it? Is it going to be a full package? Is it just going to be kind of a remaster? What exactly is Crossfire X going to be? And when is it coming out? Let's talk about it. So in an article written by Zachary Body of Windows Central, Crossfire is an incredibly popular first-person shooter franchise predominantly played in Asian markets. The game is known for intense free-to-play online multiplayer that pits two teams against each other and has amassed over hundreds of millions of unique players, making it one of the most played games and successful games of all time. Now, Crossfire is transforming into a fully-fledged franchise with the arrival of Crossfire X, which takes up the original's formula in several ways, with the classic multiplayer returning from Smilegate Entertainment and an all-new single-player campaign coming from Remedy Entertainment. Here's everything you need to know about the title. So, what is Crossfire X for Xbox? Well, Crossfire X is the sequel to a long-running first-person shooter made franchise with incredible popularity in Asia and other countries. The original Crossfire has gathered a massive gathering of loyal players to its free-to-play multiplayer, Crossfire X promises to be bigger and grander than its predecessor and takes advantage of current-gen gaming technologies and power, combining its traditional free-to-play online multiplayer with an all-new single-player campaign. Crossfire X looks to make an exciting entry into the current generation of gaming. So let's stop right there for a moment. The fact of the matter that Crossfire X, this just kind of reminds me of a title here in the United States that I've said so much on this YouTube channel needs to evolve over time and really has not is CSGO. CSGO has felt like it's kind of just been complacent over the years. And yes, guys, it's a massive title and it's a lot of fun to watch from an esports perspective. That being said, though, I always said that it could really do CSGO and just Counter-Strike in general. It could do it a lot of good if they were to upgrade the graphics and things of that nature. Well, Crossfire is doing this, guys. They're doing something that I've been preaching for a while for CSGO to do. They are making, you know, Crossfire X bigger, grander. Uh, they're going to be, obviously, you know, updating the graphics. They're creating a brand new uh, campaign. The multiplayer, it sounds like it's still going to be free to play. I mean, that's absolutely awesome, guys. This could be the next massive first-person shooter in the United States, or really in the world, guys. Um, and I think that's what the approach here is, to have a real, another, I should say, another competitor to Call of Duty, which is the king of the first-person shooter. When we look at from a sales perspective, guys, year-over-year year, Call of Duty sells better than any game out there, and... Crossfire X, I think, is trying to make a stand at being that title that's going to compete um, on a, not necessarily a yearly mark because this is going to be a free-to-play multiplayer, but wants to make its mark here in the States as well and outside of the Asian markets. So, while set in the same overarching universe, Crossfire X is campaign and multiplayer will be separate in a way similar to many other shooters like Call of Duty Vanguard and Halo Infinite. Crossfire fans and newcomers alike will be able to enjoy the classic multiplayer action that made the original Crossfire famous, spruced up for a modern era of gaming, while also being able to jump into a first ever peek behind the scenes into the world of Crossfire in a single player campaign. And that makes me so excited, guys, because it sounds like it's going to be a full package. It's not just going to be the multiplayer. It's not just going to be the campaign. It's going to be all of this, and hopefully we'll get a multitude of co-op modes as well to really round out the full package. So, 
During the Game Awards 2021, Smilegate finally broke its silence and announced a def uh, definitive release date for Crossfire X, February 10th, 2022. The game has been delayed again, but at least pre uh, players have a set date to look forward to and the multiplayer campaign are also releasing at the same time. Crossfire X has been delayed twice now and once experienced months of silence from the team with no new info for players, but it seems likely that this release date is here to stay. I'm going to say, guys, take it with a pinch of salt. February 10th is not far away, so like fingers crossed that it sticks to that, but I wouldn't be surprised either way if they stuck with it or I wouldn't be surprised if it got pushed back once again. All I got to say is if they're going to continue pushing it back, just wait to give us a release date, um, you know, until it's, def you know, definitely going to be releasing on that date just because it starts to really... Um, you know, it gives out false hope and then a lot of people start forgetting about it. They think it's going to come out, it never does. And then people just kind of, you know, move on to other games and such. So I would love to see them stick with this February 10th date unless the game is not fully polished. If there's bugs and glitches and things of that nature, then wait. But if everything's ready to go, release it February 10th. I am very excited for this title, guys. Um, I think it could be something really, really special. Now, obviously, you can check out all of the, the uh, different trailers that have been released, guys. They're absolutely awesome. Now, what is the online multiplayer in Crossfire X? So, Crossfire seems, uh, sees players join one of the world's two most dangerous private military factions, Global Risk or Blacklist, and battle it out in a variety of fast-paced game modes. Gameplay-wise, Crossfire shares some similarities with Counter-Strike Global Offensive, a tactical shooter more popular in Western markets. Crossfire does feature its own unique twists and mechanics alongside a wide selection of weapons and gear to choose from, and Crossfire X will expand on this with a variety of new features. So, it's not clear exactly how Crossfire X will be when it comes to progression, customization, and monetization. There will be a customization system in place that will likely let players personalize their operatives and weapons, but we will have yet to see it in action. We do know that Crossfire X will feature multiplayer seasons that will add new content, likely capped by battle passes to reward you for playing. The Crossfire X campaign will be available as part of a premium battle pass when Crossfire X initially launches. So, full disclosure, guys, I've never played Crossfire. I have not played it yet. Um, I am definitely just going to wait to play Crossfire X, um, and I'm going to definitely be playing this from a campaign perspective. I'll probably be playing the campaign first. I usually always do that. Play the campaign first, kind of get used to the mechanics, really dive into the story, get immersed with the characters and things of that nature, then jump into multiplayer or co-op modes with my friends. And so that is something that obviously I think battle passes, when you start hearing battle passes, different ways that they're going to monetize it. When you start hearing that it's free to play, at least from a multiplayer perspective, it does justify to me having, you know, battle passes that you can pay for um, and having different, you know, monetization tactics uh, as long as it's not deceptive to the consumer. So, finally, we know that the Crossfire X we're getting is not the Crossfire X that was before the game's delay. After the long hiatus separating Crossfire X's reveal and beta, Smilegate revealed the improvements it made to Crossfire X's graphics and maps through a series of comparison images and trailers. It's clear the studio made substantial improvements and has probably continued to do so since then. And I agree. Now, as far as the single-player campaign, not a lot is known about Crossfire X's single player campaign beyond the fact that it is being developed by Remedy. And guys, Remedy is awesome. I cannot wait to see what they do with this. I mean, Remedy guys, Control was an absolutely incredible game. Alan Wake, you know, was uh, one that I I enjoyed. Um a lot of people that's got a very passionate fan base. Quantum Break was not as big of a fan of, but Alan Wake 2 coming back, I I, I cannot be more excited about Alan Wake 2, guys, um, but Control was so good. So when I look at Crossfire X and, and having the this narrative and the story coming to us from Remedy, that's got me so excited. So the campaign will be set in the same universe as Crossfire and Crossfire X's multiplayer portions, but will be functionally different in a variety of ways to support its narrative purpose. We're expecting the Crossfire X campaign to play similarly to the multiplayer portions, but the game being developed by Remedy means there will undoubtedly be a variety of differences. We know that the campaign will feature unique objectives and missions as well as special abilities and mechanics that may not be 
in the multiplayer. And that's going to be something that's going to be really interesting, guys, because obviously if there's going to be like different abilities, different mechanics in the campaign, and then you get to the multiplayer and they're different there, that is something that can really kind of throw you off, right? When I play Call of Duty, I'll play, you know, the obviously the campaign first, and then I'll go on to play co-op or multiplayer modes. And it's typically the exact same, right? The weapons are the same. A lot of the characters usually are the same that are playable in the multiplayer and things of that nature, and all the mechanics are the same. But if you're going to change it from, from the campaign to the multiplayer, I don't think that's necessarily a good thing. The big question, though, guys, is what consoles or platforms are we going to be getting Crossfire X on? Crossfire X. The predecessor is a PC-only title, but so far in Cross uh, Crossfire X's marketing lifeline, only the Xbox platform has been mentioned. Many players have been left wondering on what platforms Crossfire X is releasing and when the game can be expected to expand the uh, to other ecosystems. Um, as far as that goes, guys, the Xbox Series X and Series S are here, and they've both proven to be capable and impressive entries into what is now the current gen of console gaming. Many games are adding full support for these powerful consoles, while... Uh, which usher in support for a ton of new features, including hard uh, hardware, accelerated ray tracing, higher refresh rates, faster load speeds, greater graphical fidelity, and more. Crossfire X has confirmed its support for the Xbox Series X and S when it launches, ensuring the game will be optimized to take advantage of the consoles. So as a, at this very moment in time, guys, I would have to say, it looks like it's going to be a console exclusive to Xbox. Could that change? Sure. But at the same time, I think Xbox, it sounds like they they might have tight grips on Crossfire X and they may have another massive hit on their hands following, of course, Halo Infinite. I, I mean, Xbox is really starting to make some significant steps forward to compete against Sony in a major way, unlike we, ha we haven't seen in, in a number of years. As far as the multiplayer is concerned, games like Gears 5 and eventually Halo Infinite push for up to 120 frames per second to offer a uh, truly competitive and lightning fast gaming experience. Um, it's very possible that Crossfire X will do the same, possibly dialing back things like ray tracing and densely packed details from the campaign to prioritize performance in the multiplayer. Crossfire X will also be cross-generational, meaning it'll be available on Xbox One at the same time as Xbox Series X and S, and that is something that's awesome, guys. Obviously, um, you know, a lot of people aren't even able to get the Xbox Series X. Um, you're usually able to get the S a little bit more readily. It's more readily available, it seems, but still, a lot of people don't want to get the S because it's all digital downloads, uh, whereas the X, you can obviously have the disc tray and things of that nature. So, Obviously, until the X is more readily available, it's good that it'll be releasing on Xbox One as well. Now, the original Crossfire became one of the biggest games of all time purely as a PC exclusive, making it easy to assume its sequel would also launch on PC. However, Crossfire X is actually entirely exclusive to Xbox consoles, meaning there's absolutely no PC support at launch and no indication of when it'll come, which is very interesting, guys. The multiplayer for Crossfire X is free to play, so there's no reason for it to make an appearance on Xbox Game Pass. As far as the campaign is concerned, the single player experience will not be on Xbox Game Pass, unfortunately, and will purely be a paid experience. While Crossfire X clearly has a close partnership with Xbox as evidenced by its exclusive launch, it's not an Xbox Game Studio or Bethesda Softworks title, so it's not under any obligation to support Xbox Game Pass day one. I do believe it will be coming out at some point on Xbox Game Pass. Crossfire X is also guaranteed to come to PC at some point, almost guaranteed to come to PC at some point in the future, and the lack of Xbox Game Pass support is unfortunate but understandable. Um... The platform most mirrored in uncertainty is PlayStation, which boasts of a large community of first-person shooter fans. As you may expect, there's no indication Crossfire X will ever come to PS4 or PS5, and it's certainly not doing so at launch. Um, which, obviously, guys, I, if you, I had to guess, I would say that they are not going to be releasing it on PlayStation um, for a long time. Um, potentially, at some point, you can never say never, but I don't think it will be at any point in the foreseeable future. That being said, though, guys, I'm very excited about Crossfire X for a number of reasons. Obviously, you know, free to play multiplayer, updated graphics, things that I've been preaching on the YouTube channel to, for CSGO to do. Uh, it seems like a, 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 a team as well as 
a game has decided to take that next step in ensuring that they are um, going to try to be a real competitor in the first person uh, space. That being said though, guys, let me know what you all think about Crossfire X and what are your thoughts on it? Do you think it's going to be an absolute smash hit? Do you think it's going to be limited because it's going to be an exclusive on Xbox? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. And for more Crossfire X content and videos, stay here with Zero TV.